Aerovironman who secured two orders from the United States Air Force for Puma 3AE unmanned aircraft systems, UAS, and spares packages, as well as Raven UAS spares packages. The orders total nearly $16 million. The order for the Puma 3AE was placed and delivered in April, while the Raven UAS spares packages order was received a month later, and is expected to be filled by November 2021. The combat-proven Puma 3AE and Raven are versatile, rugged and reliable tactical unmanned aircraft systems designed to provide the United States Air Force security forces with the enhanced situational awareness. Aerovironment Puma 3AE drone is designed to be deployed both in land-based and maritime operations. An all-environment system, it can land in water and on land. The system is hand-launched, has a wingspan of 9.2 feet, 2.8 meters, and weighs 15 pounds, 6.8 kilograms. It can fly and take photos for 2.5 hours on a single charge and has a standard antenna range of 12.4 miles. Russia is hoping to develop drones capable of carrying payloads of up to 1 ton, 907 kilograms, an executive of the Russian Helicopters Group, RHG, of Rostec Corporation announced. The country will first develop a drone that can carry around 200 kilograms, 440 pounds, then upgrade its capacity to a ton. At present, Russia's highest capacity drones, the Boz 200 and the VRT 300, can carry 50 and 80 kilograms, 110 to 176 pounds, of payload, respectively. Developed by RHG, the Boz 200 UAV has a maximum takeoff weight of 200 kilograms, 440 pounds, and can fly up to 160 kilometers, 99 miles, per hour. Its engine allows the drone to fly for up to four hours at a maximum altitude of 3,900 meters, 2.4 miles. The vehicle includes a ground control station that allows operators to control the drone from up to 100 kilometers, 62 miles, away. HMS Queen Elizabeth and elements of her carrier strike group have arrived in Singapore. HMS Defender, a Type 45 destroyer part of HMS Queen Elizabeth's carrier strike group, recently entered the South China Sea. HMS Queen Elizabeth is the deployed flagship for Carrier Strike Group 21, CSG-21, a deployment that will see the ship and her escort sail to the Asia-Pacific and back. The Carrier Strike Group includes ships from the United States Navy, the Dutch Navy, and Marines from the U.S. Marine Corps as well as air assets from 617 SQN, 820 NAS, 815 NAS and 845 NAS. The task group will visit 40 nations including India, Japan, Republic of Korea and Singapore in a deployment covering 26,000 nautical miles. U.S. Marines, Australian Army, Royal Marine Commandos and elements of the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force participated in a combined joint amphibious landing and air assault in Bowen, Queensland, Australia, as part of Exercise Talisman Sabre 21. The overnight assault on Bowen Airfield was an important part of TS-21, the ninth iteration of the largest training exercise between Australian and U.S. military forces. It is a key training opportunity that supports the advancement of a free and open Indo-Pacific by strengthening relationships, building trust and interoperability among ally and partner nation militaries. I love working with the Australians. Their tactics are very similar to ours and we work great together, said U.S. Marine Corps Lance Corporal John Philip Raper, a rifleman with 1st Battalion, 7th Marine Regiment. We had a chance to try each other's weapons and swap kit, and it's been great to learn from each other. The Ukrainian Navy has accepted delivery of the first Baraktar TB2 drone from Turkish defense company Baker, according to Ukraine's defense ministry. After completing acceptance tests, the drone, along with mobile control terminals and spare parts, will be deployed at the Ukrainian Navy's 10th Naval Aviation Brigade in Mykolaiv. Baker announced in 2019 that it won a $69 million contract to sell six TB2 combat UAVs to Ukraine. Turkish officials at the time said the deal included ammunition for the armed drones. In recent years, Turkey and Ukraine have strengthened their military bonds. But Russia, which sees the Crimean Peninsula from Ukraine, and annexed it in March 2014, has pushed back at the growing defense relationship.